Hello and welcome back to Enlighten Us. You are joining us for lesson eight. We're looking at what is called the Idafa. The Idafa serves three functions. Either it expresses possession, al milkiya identification, a tarif, or specification, a tasis. Now the adapter is made out of two components. The first component is what we call al mudaf. The mudaf tends to be common and it doesn't accept tenween. So no double fatha, dhamma or kasra. Also doesn't accept the ending noon. Uh, when we talk about the ending noon, and you'll see this in the examples, that's what comes at the end of a, a word when you're expressing the plural or the dual version of it. The second half of the idafa is the mudafile. The mudafile in most cases tends to be proper and its state needs to be jar and of course jar will either be expressed with a kasra or it will be expressed uh, depending on whether it's plural or dual within um, aini or ina. So for instance Modernisaini or Modernisina. Let's start off by looking at some examples for possession and identification. So, El Milkia or Tarif. So, our first example is Kitabu Adil, Adil's book. Kitabu is our Mudaf. In its original form, Kitabu would have been Kitabun, it would have had Tanuin. Also, it's common. So Kitabu meets the requirements of the Madaf that we just saw. Adil is our Madaf In its original form, it would have been in Rafa. As you can see here, it's, uh, it's in Jar because it has Kasra. And it's proper, and the reason it's proper is because it's an uh, what's called an ismalam, so a proper noun. And we say this expresses both identification and possession because not only do we know that the book belongs to Adil, but in a longer sentence, I want Adil's book, for instance, what I'm saying is that I want the book that belongs to Adil, not the book, not any of the other books, but also I want Adil's book, not Adil's bag or his pen, etc. So I'm identifying a specific item among other items. So not only um, expressing possession, I'm also identifying it among other items. Let's have a look at another example. Kutubul Mutaqafina, the intellectuals books. Could be books written by by intellectuals, for instance. Kutubu is our Muldaf. And again, you'll notice that in its original form, it would have had tenween, so there's no tenween there. And it's common, and we know that it's common because there's no L or any other indicator of properness. Al Mutaqafin, this is our Muldafile. And in its original form, it would have been in Rafa, and that Rafa would have been expressed by the well here. Instead, it's Mutaqafina, and that's how Jar is being expressed, because this is plural. And it's proper because it's preceded by El. Now let's have a look at an, ident uh, an example for identification, for Ta'rif. We've got Mudarrisul Madrasati, the school's teachers. Uh, Mudarrisu is our Mudaf. In its um, original form, Mudarrisu would have been Mudarrisuna. And this is what I meant when I said that it doesn't take Tanween or the Noon. So because this is plural, it would have been Mudarrisuna. With a noon, the noon is dropped off for it to be a, a mudaf. And it's common because it's not preceded by L or any other indicator. Al Madrasa 
is a mudaf ilayh. Uh, in its original form, it would have been madrasatun, so it wouldn't have been in jaran, of course, it wouldn't have had l. And it's the l that tells us it's proper. Now, this example is identification only rather than um, possession, because the school doesn't own the teachers. All you're doing is identifying a group of people that are associated with, with the school. So if you were to ask the question, for instance, who's on strike? The school teachers, not the support staff, for instance, or, or uh, the cleaners, for instance. It's the teachers, but the school doesn't own the teachers. There's no ownership. Let's have a look at another example. This is one for specification. And this is where things get a little bit interesting um, for taxis. So we've got here Sayyaratu Isafin. Uh, Sayyaratu Isafin is uh, ambulance, but if you want the literal uh, translation, it's car for medical aid. So Sayyaratu is our mudaf. We can see that the original would have had tenwin. Sayyaratu doesn't have tenwin, so it meets that first condition. And we can see it's common because there's no um, L or any other uh, indicator. Now we have Isafin. I'm going to tell you that Isafin is our Mudafile. We can see that it's Jar because it has a uh, because it has a Kasra or, or double Kasra in this case. What's interesting if you remember is the second uh, condition that the Mudafile needs to be proper. In this case Isafin isn't proper, it's not preceded by L, but this example still falls under the umbrella of, um, of Idafa. And that's because Sayyarat or Isafin tells us we need an ambulance. By telling us that we need an ambulance, it's telling us that we don't need a police car or a fire engine or in fact any other vehicle. However, it's not proper because it's not a particular ambulance. We need an ambulance. Any ambulance will do, as long as it's not another vehicle. Um, so that's why this formation, which expresses um, specification, it specifies a type rather than a, a singular item, still falls under the um, still falls under that umbrella. Um, before we move on, it's uh, really important to note um, as we come to the end of the lesson that idafa is uh, one of the ways that isms can be can be proper so when i'm telling you an ism is not proper it's when it's a standalone ism and do look out for the for the lesson on proper proper isms where we go into much more detail so let's have a mulakhas uh, let's have a summary uh, so we will recall the idafa is formed of two components we've got our mudaf we've got our mudaf filet. And then we've got our condition for each, so our mudaf generally common, no tenween or ending noon. Our mudaf uh, in most cases it's proper and it has to be in a state of jar. Uh, it's worth reiterating here that when we're talking about the ending noon, we're not talking about when the noon is part of the word, we're talking about when it's a suffix to express that the word is plural or that the word uh, the ism, rather, the ism specifically, is plural or dual, um, where it's been attached to to express that, not when it's part of the, the original word. I think we've come to the end. Uh, thank you for joining us. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And of course, check out the description box for additional resources.